Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring to the final two episodes of Comey Sense. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 11 in 3, 2, 1. Hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm guessing really both what the last two episodes are just going to deal with the culture festival in, in a nutshell. Because at first I was going to, when episode 11 came out, I was like, yeah, I'm going to probably go ahead and just put this one by itself and then do 12 by itself. And I think, as I said, in 10, that was what originally I was going to do. Um, but then I changed my mind and I said, mm, no, I'll put 11 and 12 together because it seems like maybe they were going to have something to do with each other. Then someone told me, yeah, they're kind of like a two-parter. And I was like, oh, okay. And then also the same day that the last episode aired, because I was at work, um, and that was Wednesday, yeah. It got confirmed for season two. So, yay! And something tells me that is when we're going to see the one other girl um, who I also like, basically, even though I haven't read this manga. But I've just seen, like, bits and pieces and pictures of her. And I'm like, oh, okay, is she probably going to pop up in one of these last two episodes? She kind of needs to, but I don't think she is. You guys, oh my god. <laughs> Basically. Oh, okay, so Kayon. Mm hmm How did he see Samia? True, yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah, he doesn't look like it on talk. <laughs> There's too many ideas.
Mm-hmm. Alright, it's final. We're doing a maid cafe. baby No, oh, baby. <laughs> See, now in the end, the whole entire damn class is going to want to go. Yeah, so at least some of y'all need to stay here. No! Yeah, y'all walking a little too far and fast for her. I mean, as someone who is also tall and my long ass legs. <laughs> I feel bad for my mom. Would it be wise for y'all to split up though? <laughs> exactly. Really? Mm -hmm. I can't.
Ma'am, this is in Lollipop Chainsaw, babe. <laughs> yeah, in a way you did. <laughs> I'm hungry. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it would it would just be like the tissue situation, right? Of course. try yeah like the the subway place Ain't that easy. Makes sense. Well, Jesus, it looked like everybody died. The fact that these fuckers got up so quick. Of course you did. Call me.
Comey, did you make that one? No, Comey made it. You know, she probably having a nosebleed, shit like that. <laughs> Hold up. around real quick. Someone sounds good. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that blend S feels right there. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she was saying, I'm in the sun. But you would look cute. I know, right? take pictures and everything so you know eventually we can blackmail you into doing anything that you need to do you know right 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 yes <laughs> mm. 
But still, you look good in it. Now, see, this is just gonna make me, like, seriously want a made episode in freaking Kaguya Summer. couple of days ago <laughs> that this play would be just as a pain oh my god it's very similar to um what the hell was the name of that show I watched it I did reactions on it it's a patreon show that I did the restaurant show that show I can't think of the damn name oh my god I'm blanking <laughs> <laughs> but it, the show that basically had like three seasons and um, it starred um Lelouch's Seiyu also freaking uh the protagonist for Persona 5 Seiyu and such what else is he in the ch dude from Chuni Boyo him 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 I can't think of the damn name oh my god <laughs> One time I forget. Oh my god! This is what happens when you watch too many freaking animes, and you're like, and then your friends like, "Hey, you know that one anime that's this and this, that," and then you're like, "This, no, this, no." God, I'm blanking. What the fuck is the name? <laughs> ah, I can't remember the life of me. Jesus freaking Christ! Ah, fuck. <laughs> It's something about guys in maid outfits just very interesting. Like, damn, like, oh my god, it's like the free episode of me all over again, stop it! But also, call me, call me, you look beautiful. Like, seriously, if we don't get a maid outfit, like, episode in Kaguya season 3, when that comes out in the springtime, I'm suing, so. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice that you know Komi and Kaede are friends. Kaede is very weird, but funny, like it just it, in a weird way. She's like just one of those very chill, mellow type girls, but she gets into all sorts of like little troubles and tidbits and whatever. You be like, oh wait, it's like uh, uh, no, you know who she reminds me of? She okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to tell this story. She reminds me of uh, my grandma. <laughs> and I'll, I'll never forget this. Like, so typically, so many years ago, uh, my mom, myself, and my grandma, we went to Walmart one day. And, you know, like, typically when you're with your parents or with your family going to Walmart, um, especially, like, if I go, with, if it's me, my mom, and my dad, like, or even me and my mom going, I like to divide and conquer. And I say, okay, like, go get whatever you want to get, and then we'll come back and still go through each and every, like, single row of lane, you know, aisle, whatever, this is that, and the third. So, 
um, my mom wanted to go to a certain area, and we are all, like, behind each other. I'm in front leading the pack because, you know, tall person, got to be in the front so everybody can find out where I am and play follow the freaking leader. And my mom is behind me, and my grandma is behind my mom. And so, um, we get to the aisle. I turn around. I see my mom. My mom turns around. My grandma, not there. So, then we go into absolute panic mode and flipping Walmart trying to find my grandmother because it's like, okay, especially if, if you take your grandparent who does not live with you but who comes to visit and such to a place where they've never been. Because, like, we all know, like, when you go to a Walmart, not every Walmart is the same freaking Walmart and such. And it's, trust me, because as someone, there are two Walmarts, two Walmarts down the street from me, one to my right and one to my left. They are so freaking different. And so when I used to live over by like, um, freaking Orange Park. And the mall we used to go, uh, the mall, <laughs> the Walmart I used to go to versus the one that I used to go to where I went to high school, near, near my high school and stuff, I, I knew that one frontwards, backwards, whatever. But when we moved over to Orange Park, like, this Walmart was so, like, confusing. I was like, where the hell is everything? I was like, yeah, I see the food over here. And I was like, but where's this and where's that and such. So we finally found her. She was walking down, like, you know, the main aisle and stuff. And she had a bag of chips with her because my grandma loved the crap out of Lay's chips. And so my mom got upset. My mom was like, well, where did you go? And she's like, I just went to go get a bag of chips. And so over here on the sideline, just shaking my head. I'm like, oh, my God. So we had to do a thing with my grandma. So any time when my grandma was coming to visit and we went to the store, we had to have her hold on to um, the shopping cart so that she would stay with us. So she wouldn't wander off because plus, my uh, I think my grandma had a phone, but I don't think she she used it at all and such. So we didn't want to lose her at all. So it's just so funny. It's so funny. But yeah, Kaeda seems like that person who was always going to get lost, but straight up. I mean, even though this is only part one or two for the Culture Festival, I'm I'm still wondering, yes, I hope we get to see the Gato character, because she's the one character that I'm still waiting for. But like I said, something tells me we will probably not see her until season two. If we get a glimpse of her in this last episode, it'll of course be like that much, and then, you know... Hey, we'll see you in season two. But yes, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. I want crepes. I mean, I had pancakes, the rest of my cinnamon roll pancakes, which were good. If you haven't gone to Denny's and had their cinnamon roll pancakes, oh my god, you haven't lived. It's just that money hungry ish.
<laughs> slapped in the face by a man. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is what happens when you're money hungry. That's a student. Hold on now. Look, look, look. See, I, I can't know. Danganronpa, once again. Freaking, you know, remember Sakura when she popped up the first time? And I was like, wait, what? And then it was worse when my mom watched it. She was like. I was like, yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Come on. Yes. Well, you're about to miss him, unfortunately. Well, she's already gone. Oh, damn, that's fucked up. No! It's just gonna be like, you know... Oh my god, you guys are gonna make her nervous. Stop! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god.
Perfect. Ooh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Did you lose Kyan again? Oh. <laughs> oh, chocolate banana. <laughs> the fact that he is still wearing the costume, I fucking love it. <laughs> no kids. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Why should we call me? <laughs> Nice going. Still had fun though. Mm-hmm.
Damn. Guys, hold up. There's a crowd. I don't need any more people. <laughs> Look at Kayane. Really? Oh. Fuck a little shit. <laughs> Poor baby.
baby. You got this! Yeah! <laughs> oh no! Beaver chicken. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> you really got me there. You really got me there. I was ready to hear her. <laughs> like, oh my God. Okay, this just was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would recommend to every fucking person I know. I mean, I know I already said that, like, my two animes of the year was Annoying Senpai and, um, did I say the year? I meant season, my bad. Um, was Annoying Senpai and, and freaking Talk to Opening Destiny. And, and this is up there with it, too. Straight up. I, I would probably put it in a contender for Anime of the Year, but, like, because I have too many freaking animes that I love throughout this whole year, <laughs> they're, they're all number one, so I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. <laughs> it just doesn't matter to me. It does. Sometimes it does, you know, because I am one of those type of people. But, like, no. Let me voice my little opinion on why this show and this show and this show and that show is fucking number one. But this was so good. Like, oh. My baby's so cute. Oh, my God. I want to read the manga now. Aww. <laughs> Aww. So fucking sweet. Jesus Christ, you're gonna make me cry, like, straight up. <laughs> Oh, the dad.
Pop the champagne, we did it. <laughs> oh, God, I really, once again, truly enjoyed this show. I mean, you know, even though the one thing that I hated about it, Netflix. Fucking Netflix. That's all I will say. Just specifically for this show and JoJo Part 6. That's it. Netflix. Fucking Netflix. And the fact is, when you have a Netflix show, and the fact is, like, okay, the the last thing that I, 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 oh my god, this is like, okay, this is like, the, the feelings that I'm having right now, I'm, I'm it's, ugh, I can't speak, oh my god, um, I'm getting, like, reminders of how I felt when BNA came out and when Carol and Tuesday came out, especially, like, for both, because of the fact is those are also Netflix shows as well and such. And the one thing that I truly hate about having really good animes behind that, you know, and I, I hate to say paywall of fucking Netflix, but fucking Netflix is the fact is uh, specifically because now they're, they're doing better with it. But at the time of when BNA came out and when Carol and Tuesday came out and such and how you know, for me reacting to Carol and Tuesday and BNA, you know, for, for Carol and Tuesday, we got the episodes like back to back to back. And I felt bad for people because they, the first like 12 episodes came out, what, that first half of summer, I think like 20, 28, 2019, 2020, I believe, 2019, I think, because I was still living over by Orange Park and such. And then the second half came by Christmas. Uh, and so it, it was good, but then at the same time it was bad. So you got to see, like, for people who were specifically waiting because of Netflix, because of that role, because, you know, not, not a lot of people knew of <clears throat> situations and stuff. But it, it was very similar to the same thing of BNA. Like, it came out week after week with Netflix Japan and such, and we were able to see it through that. But then, you know, for everyone else, it didn't come out until about two three months later and such and it, it was very similar to when like several years ago when i reacted to the aggressive fretsco series and how um it wasn't the 30 minute episodes that are on netflix it was like a three minute short thing and i could do like several episodes in bulk and have them all together and when the show was getting very popular on netflix i remember like my reactions to it went from like under a hundred views to like a thousand to twenty thousand views and I'm over here like what the heck is going on so that's my little nitpick about having a net like having something really good behind Netflix because they truly end up like missing the hype and when it is behind Netflix jail with like okay with the situation of this show yeah you get to see it week after week I'm glad that they're doing that and they're changing something like that but when you look at something like okay part six of Jojo and the fact is that we only have the first 12 episodes and so everybody I think this was this was very similar to like this guy on TikTok who was trying to like talk he was talking about it and he thinks, no, well, he he said that people think that the next 12 episodes that are going to come out are going to come out, like, on January 1st. I don't think that's going to happen because of the fact is Part 6 hasn't even officially aired on Japanese television yet. So that's 12 weeks that that has to air. And then when 13 starts to air, that's when I think they're going to do, like, what they're doing with Call Me, where it's, like, a weekly basis type thing or maybe they could do it bi-weekly. I'm not really 100% sure on that. But, like, I, as I said once again, 
<laughs> putting it behind Netflix is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation because I'm not going to say it causes the death of the show, but specifically people who are either making reactions on it like myself and others or anything else on this series, it kind of screws it over just a little bit because of the fact is not a lot of people are going to probably see the whole thing until maybe like once the show reaches its conclusion and shit like that, who knows. But, I mean, yeah, I really, truly enjoyed this. Comey is literally best girl. Love her to death. Would literally protect her from every fucker in the world. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, he's best boy. Best, but, like, literally, he, oh, God, he might be best boy of 2021. Like, shit. I mean, for best girl of 2021, it, it's a little, like, it's, it's okay, so, I, if I had to put two people, no, I have three. I have three specifically for it. The fall. That's Comey. Um, no, technically, I got four. So, it's Comey. It would be Destiny from uh, Talk to Opening Destiny. Anna, best girl from to, uh, Talk to Opening Destiny. And then um, Miko and Hannah. So, that makes five for Mariko Chan. Because all five of those characters, specifically for what the hell they were doing what they brought to the table were very interesting also hell even futaba from annoying senpai and sakurai as well so that's now seven girls there's too many and then if we were doing the boys and going back all the way to january up until now we'd be here for a hot minute then you gotta add the freaking pretty cure characters because see like i said i can't do this it's too much i can't i can't be like yes this was the saving grace of 2021. Oh my god. Like, yes, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't pick a favorite child. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I've done it before, but when every every year, like, when anime just gets so fucking good, like, from one season to the next, and then one year to the next, and you're like, oh, we're not getting, we're getting past this, and then it just gets better and better, and you're like, hey, who's your favorite anime slash kid? And you're over here like, you really want me to answer that? You you want me to be fake or you want me to be truthful? It, it's one of the hardest decisions. Like, because there were so many good animes this year. And just, oh my god. But yes, I am so fucking excited for season two. I, I really hope that what we do get to see, um, really with Komi and Zidano, is their relationship blossoming even more. Possibly maybe a confession by the end of season two. I mean, having them, like... <laughs> dance together which is so fucking cute and of course they gotta get third wheeled fourth wheeled fifth wheeled ish because of course but yes um also said like the gato that I, I really want to see i'm ready for her to make her appearance in april i mean it's time let her pop up i, I know i still gotta wait a little bit longer but yeah I think, you know, if I do end up deciding to read the manga, um, which I really do personally want to, I think I'm going to wait until season two is officially over and such. Unless, you know, we get to season two and then we find out that the show's confirmed for a season three. <laughs> and then it's just going to be like, yeah, well, you know, I'm never going to be able to read the manga now. <laughs> Straight up. Because, like, oh, there's been so many series for mangas that I wanted to read, like, especially this one, um, it's the doll thing that's coming out next month, which I've read a couple chapters of, but I haven't gotten too deep into it, and this was way, way, way before this thing got an anime adaptation and such, and I'm super excited for that, but yes, this was so freaking good, I'm sad that this is over, but the best thing is I can always rewatch it, I don't know if I'm gonna rewatch the Netflix version of it on there, because, you know, they probably didn't subtitle, like, everything that, you know, people took the time out and did for the translations for this show, but, you know, maybe, maybe I will, because, you know, I have one of my friends, I told them to watch this show, and because they're so busy, I don't think they'll have time to watch this, so, yes, probably with them, I will watch it again. Hell, I'll maybe watch it with my mom, but... Maybe. My mom doesn't like to read and watch at the same time, but you know. <laughs> it is what it is. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire first season of Komi san Can't Communicate. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all in January for the start of winter anime. And then eventually... In April, when season two of Komi-san officially returns. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. 
Bye.